Cosmic Loves. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, huh. We have a new week to go into. We are doing our weekly guidance for the 22nd of November to the 28th of November. So we are going into Sagittarius season. We are in Sagittarius season. My sister's birthday is actually November 28th, so yeah, yeah, it's getting lit now, it's getting lit. Um, we do have two planetary transits to talk about, no I'm saying, no I'm saying. So let's get into that. Mercury enters Sagittarius on the 22nd. So what we can expect with that um, teaching classes or um, giving inspirational messages to people that need it. You'll be finding that your words are more inspirational. Um, during this time, you want to solidify travel for the next couple months. Um, make sure that everything is done, that you got everything together, put away. Um, there is an importance on being open-minded during this time. Um, you'll notice that people around you will be open-minded, meaning like they'll be open to doing more things or seeing different points of view. Um, showing um, attention to intellectual games, um, challenges and things like that. Like there will be certain things that's really going to catch you. That's like going to be like really on your mind. Like that's really sparks your mind. That makes the brain like the sparks and the cogs move and stuff like that. So um, that'll be important to you. Um, there are gonna be some, um, um, there is gonna be some um, opinions that are gonna feel very acute, very sharp edges to them. Um, you may have these opinions or you may hear these opinions come from other people, but they're gonna feel, feel very sharp edged. And let me also go back and say that uh, I said November 22nd. This happens on November 24th. Mercury enters Sagittarius. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so that's what happens for Mercury entering Sagittarius. And then, um, what day is that? November 26th, Saturn sextiles Chiron. Right. So like um you're you're gonna wanna feel more inclined to stick to tradition. Um, whether it's traditional culture, whether it's traditions of your family, um, you're just gonna wanna stick to tradition that's gonna be um more interesting to you. Um you're gonna actually add something to it though during this time like you're going to be innovative with this tradition you're going to add something that sparks it up that gives it more life that you know makes it more efficient or feasible or that just brings a little bit more character to it of you which is not going to be a bad thing um you're going to be competent and just feel secure with yourself during this time like being really you know what you're doing like you are who you are like you are firm in everything that you know how to do in your skills and your talent and everything um yeah it's, it's 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 a phase of you being imbalanced with the part of you that is healed and just being aware being focused, um, paying attention to tradition, paying attention to who you are and knowing who you are, and a feeling of security. So that is November 26th, Saturn Sextiles Chiron. So that is all we have for our planetary transits. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok to, to, to see me reenact these transits, these planetary transits. And don't forget to like share and comment on these videos because it helps me out it gives me a good gauge of how you guys feel how this helps you guys so 
thank you in advance for all the shares and I appreciate you guys. So let's get it on. Let's get it on. Um, I am not going to hit that high pitch. I am not. I am not. I swear. We are going to be doing our oracle today with our Mystic Mondays. And I wanted to do a message with our star seeds. So, Spirit. What message do you have for us for November 22nd to November 28th? Okay, I already got one card out. What messages should we be aware of? What energies are we going to be in? Um, ouch, got another card. Y'all bear, bear with me, I can't read. Okay. I'm going to let y'all know what that card was. I didn't even let y'all know what the first card was, but I feel like I need to shuffle one more time. Okay. So, we got three cards out. Thank you, Spirit. Our first card was the King of Swords. King of Swords is telling us that we are assertive in our speech, that we have been able to speak with confidence about ourselves, that our intellectual mind frame is at a place of, is at a place of, our thoughts have basically reached our pinnacle. We are confident. We are able to get our point across. We are able to speak to people in a way that is persuasive, that lets them see our point of view and also we are we are also seeing someone come in that is able to talk business matters get contracts closed get things done for us in a business like manner um they're coming through for us hmm i like that someone coming through to help talk business and get contracts closed i'm all for it so look are my entrepreneurs someone's coming through to assist or someone's coming through with a business idea mm -hmm. something that we've really been wanting to do this person is very good at it they have either mastered this skill of being able to do this or they are just great at it and I'm getting the feeling that this is a Gemini coming in or somebody with a Gemini rising or Gemini sun. So be aware. Our next card is the five of pentacles, but it was upside down. So this is a feeling that we are not in balance, that we are not in a place that is secure for us um, physically like we do not feel like we are in a space that we can move we can move and function in a sustained or balanced way we're just not feeling it we're not feeling it like we're in need right now and this person that is coming through is actually going to help because our next card is the fool we are not taking chances and this card the fool is asking us to take a chance stop thinking about the consequences of things because now we're overthinking it we're overthinking it like when you feel the pull for something when your gut your intuition is pulling you to do something is telling you that this is what it's supposed to be you go for it because sometimes when you step back and you don't move forward, you take away the opportunity that's been given to you. You're basically shutting a door. Pay attention and use your voice. Because if you don't use your voice, you're not going to get your balance. You're not going to feel good. Because if you don't clear your throat chakra, all of your chakras are going to become unbalanced. You're not going to feel secure within yourself. You're going to feel like 
things that you've been doing or there could have been, it, it, you're going to be in your shoulda, coulda, woulda stage. Things that you should have said that you should have been very vocal about. Now you're not saying them. You haven't said them. And now it's made you feel some type of way. So now it's time for you to take a chance on yourself and say what needs to be said. And there is going to be someone that comes in to help you with this. They're going to, they're going to basically let you know that everything that you've been overthinking, everything that has come forward, like you have to take a chance on yourself. It's, it's time for you to really believe in yourself and take a chance. Because if you don't, you're really going to be upset that this opportunity has gone away. And this opportunity is an opportunity to clear your throat, meaning to say what needs to be said, and to also put yourself back in a space where you have balance. And this is more than just um, balance, physical balance. It's healthy balance. Because speaking your truth and saying what you have to say brings your body back into balance. And sometimes you have to take a, a risk. The best things out there are not easy to get and it takes risk to get them. So this is, this is your confirmation to take that leap, to take that step, to reach out for what it is that, that is worth it. This sun right here, that is you reaching out to who you who you are embrace yourself embrace your inner self embrace your inner strength and take a leap take a step it is time for you to stop overthinking things yes be clear be clear in your thoughts be clear in your words know that your ideas are of substance know that everything that you are thinking, that you have written down, the way you're speaking, the way you're, you're communicating is very exact. And, you know, be clear, it is exact. <laughs> Stop feeling like you don't have control. You do have control, there is stability. You just have to take that chance on yourself. Some of us are feeling like we've been stuck somewhere for so long, but you're gonna be stuck if you don't move forward. You're going to be stuck if you don't speak your truth. You're going to be stuck if you don't give yourself that push. For others of us, there's going to be a strong Gemini, sun, moon, rising, coming through to remind us and inspire us, to give us the words that we need to hear, to tell us that our projects and that our ideas are worth something. Not to say that you aren't saying it to yourself, but sometimes an outside force gives us a lot more push than hearing it from ourselves. And as, as kind of messed up as that is, it is that way sometimes. If you are like that, use that to your advantage. Let that person come through and, and, and rewire you to remember who you are and that you are not in a space of disarray and that you can rebalance yourself. Because anytime you get unbalanced, you can rebalance yourself, whether it be your health, your mental, your emotion or not. But you have to take that leap of faith. You have to allow yourself to believe and reach for what it is that means something to you. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, reach for it. Go for it. It's yours. Take that leap. And I'm going to even go as far to see what the card at the bottom of the deck is. Card at the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Wands. Take initiative. Take initiative. This is telling you that you are at a place where you are questioning your spirituality, you're questioning your religion, your beliefs, your ideals, your thoughts, conspiracies. You're questioning all of them because you're questioning yourself. But this is not the end. This is not the end. You've come to the end of a conclusion about things because you've been thinking on it. You've been thinking on it hard, which is why you feel unbalanced. But it's time to take a leap of faith on yourself because this is not the end. This is the end of a thought process, but this is not the end of you. This is the end of an idea or an ideal that didn't work for you, 
but this is not the end of you. So don't make it be the end of you. You just have to get your mind in a space of freedom because you have control over your mind. You have that. And because you do have that control, your body listens to your mind. So it's only following what you're saying. So you need to inspire yourself in a better way and take a leap of faith. You need to go with that idea that's been circulating in your mind to do for yourself, to improve yourself. You know what that thought was. You were like, okay, if I do this, 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 it'll make things better. I'll be in a better situation. But you need that push. This is your confirmation to push yourself because you are at the end of this ideal. You do not need to hold on to it anymore. Release this ideal. Release this thought. Release this what you thought was an inspiration that ended up not being an inspiration. Release it and get rid of it. Okay. We don't have time for that this week. Release all of that. And a message that Spirit has for us to remind us about this week. With all of this that's going on. Love. Love your truth and share the love that is on your soul. Yes. Share your truth. Speak your mind. Say what needs to be said. People are going to either love you or hate you for it, but the love that you're going to get from it is what's going to be genuine. Everything else is not even important. There was too many that came out at once. But yes, like, that Gemini that's coming in, they are going to be showing true love to you. It's almost going to be like a partnership. It's almost going to be like, that is going to be like the jelly to your peanut butter, so to speak. Okay, what's this next one? Gaia, connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through the time of change. So with everything going on right now, I'm sorry, I have to get these other ones. With everything going on right now, I know y'all will probably be like, who is she talking to? Talking to y'all. With everything going on right now, we really need to ground. Be a tree hugger. You can even pot some plants. Um, plant some seeds. You know, do some gardening. Anything that gets you to connect with Earth will be perfect for you right now. Because there are some changes going on. Not just with you, but we are going through a transitional period where we are getting close to winter time. Um... Because Capricorn season starts the winter season. We are in fall. We are at the the transitional stage of fall. Because Sagittarius season um, shows us that we are going into another season. So connect with Earth to help you transition your thoughts into more positive thoughts. To transition you out of this idea that has been sitting with you that doesn't work for you anymore. So... Spirit is definitely giving us something. And our last one is ascension. The soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. So all of this that's been going on with you and your thought process and how you feel and how you're thinking, all of this is linked to your ascension, meaning we are elevating. All the work that we've been doing, all the work that you've been doing is paying off. And you have to get rid of certain things now that deal with your mentality. You have, there are people coming in to help you. But this 10 of wands, we are at the end. We are at the end of this idea and it's time to release it. So it's time to get rid of whatever this thought process was, whatever this false advertisement of inspiration was, get rid of it. Because we are ascending. I love ascension. I love ascension. And we are trying to bring into those, we're trying to bring in people that are about genuine love, genuine love, that are about helping you evolve, go higher, and move quicker. So, yes, this week has some beautiful things and beautiful messages in there. Y'all just have to be patient and look out for that, for that air sign and be assertive in what you have to say. Your throat chakra is on the line and how you feel and your elevation is on the line. So stop sugarcoating and say what you need to say. All right, Liz. Y'all got what I'm trying to put down. Y'all better, y'all better.
be flexing, okay? Give that verbal flex. Somebody needs to hear the words coming out your mouth. Maybe your ears need to hear you saying it so that it can get back together, okay? Okay. Until next time, loves, see you. And if you're on my Patreon to buy Bobby a cup of coffee, definitely see y'all soon. All right. Bye.